If you're dealing with hair loss, chances are you've heard of Brazula. Out of all the drugs in development, this is the one that's closest to getting to the market. But, and this is a big but, the phase three trial still hasn't started. Today, we're gonna to give you an update on what's going on with Brazula. You're gonna find out where we stand, why the phase three trial still hasn't started, and best of all, when we can expect Brazula to hit the pharmacies. Stay tuned. So the active ingredient in, in Brazula is clascoterone. This is an androgen receptor blocker. In other words, clascoterone sits on the androgen receptor and it blocks it so that other androgens like DHT or testosterone cannot activate it. It's applied directly on the scalp so there's practically no systemic side effects. The other big advantage of clascoterone is that it's quickly metabolized to cortexolone. This is a metabolite that's not particularly biologically active. So you have a topical androgen that's A, topically applied, obviously, and B, quickly metabolizes to a relatively inactive metabolite. This means that we should expect a relatively good systemic uh, safety profile. In other words, little to no systemic side effects. And indeed, the published data that we have so far suggest practically no systemic side effects, and especially no sexual side effects. You only have the standard topical side effects like uh, redness, uh, itchiness, and so on. Now, when it comes to efficacy, the results so far suggest that it's on par with minoxidil. Certainly nothing groundbreaking or superior to anything that's currently on the market. The main attraction will probably be for those that are looking for a topical antiandrogen to combine with their minoxidil. So in 2020, clascoderone made history when it was approved by the FDA against acne in the form of a cream. This made it the first medication against acne with a novel mechanism of action to be approved in many decades. The brand name of the cream is Winlevy, and the sales so far, from what we understand, have been encouraging. Of course, getting the drug licensed against hair loss is a completely different story. So we saw that the phase two trial was completed in 2019, but where do we stand now? A few months ago, Cassiopeia, the company behind Brazula, was, was taken over by its major shareholder, Cosmo Pharmaceuticals. Now, Cosmo Pharmaceuticals had been looking for a buyer but Cassiopeia, but they weren't able to find one. And as a result, they decided to just outright take the company over. The company was delisted from the stock exchange and their former URL now redirects to the Cosmos website. And the latest update we have in Brazula comes from Cosmos' 2021 annual report. And their phase two research, Cassiopeia were experimenting with three strengths, 2.5%, 5%, and 7.5%. And this latest report confirms that for phase three, they've decided to go with a 7.5% strength. This gave marginally better results than the 5% strength in phase two. Application will be twice daily, just like with minoxidil. The big question is when? When will the phase three research finally start? When are we gonna get the first patient that's recruited? Unfortunately, the report is quite vague and non-committal. Quote, discussions are ongoing with the FDA and pending the successful outcome of these discussions, we expect to commence the phase three trial in the second half of 2022. So best case scenario, recruitment for phase three starts in the second half, the late, really late 2022. That's best case scenario. This depends on the company finalizing the so-called special protocol assessment with the FDA. Now the special protocol assessment is a document that says that the FDA agrees with the trial's design, methodology, and statistical analysis. It doesn't guarantee that Brazil is gonna get accepted. That's always gonna depend on the results but it certainly allows the trial to start off with the best probability of success. So at this point, this issue with a special protocol assessment has been dragging on for close to two years. Remember, the phase three trial was completed and the results were published in April 2019. That's three years ago, more than three years ago. Cassiopeia then started drafting the phase three protocol. 
and we first heard that they were working on the special protocol assessment in 2020. The draft protocol was then sent to the FDA and the last update we, we had in 2021 was that the FDA had, request, had requested certain changes to this draft protocol assessment. Since then, we've had no specifics. Now, the wording in the annual report suggests that there's still some differences with the FDA, and there's really no guarantee that the phase, re that the phase three research will start in 2022. Now, Cosmos and Cassiopeia before them, they don't really release a lot of information to the public, so we really have scraps of information to go by. But it is very possible that there is some sort of more serious issue here. It's three years now, since the end of phase three, since the end of phase two, and phase three still hasn't started. Now, we did have the COVID crisis in 2020, but this is long finished now, so this can't be the reason for the holdup. And honestly, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if these never ending delays turn out into something more serious and phase three, who knows, never even starts. I wouldn't be surprised. But even if phase three starts in 2022, it's going to take years before uh, the participants are recruited. Uh, the treatment starts, then you have the follow-up, then you have the analysis, and you have to write up the report, then you have to get everything approved by the FDA. So best case scenario, just a rough estimate here, if everything even goes according to plan, we're going to have Brazula on pharmacies by 2025 or maybe 2026. And that would be with a price tag of between $100 to $200 a month for a treatment of indefinite duration with results comparable to minoxidil. So considering all this, it's a bit difficult to be excited about Brazil at this point. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And until next time, take care.